the Prime Minister give an assurance to the House that the further 20 per cent cuts to the fire service planned by 2020 will now be halted? Can I say to the right honourable gentleman that in his reference to the building regulations, I think he's somewhat missed part of the point in this, which is that it's not just a question of what laws you have, it's how those are being applied. And that, that is the issue. We have the building regulations about compliant materials. The question is, why is it that despite that, we have seen in local authority area after local authority area materials being put up that appear not to comply with those building regulations. And he talks about. And that is what we need to get to the bottom of. Why is it that fire inspections, that local authority inspections appear to have missed this essential issue? I think I can help the Prime Minister with this issue. When you cut local authority expenditure by 40 per cent, you end up you end up you end up with fewer building control inspectors. It's pretty bad when people shout. For somebody to be sitting right by the speaker's chair and shouting displays, let's say, a lack of wisdom, which should not be repeated. Every order. Every member in this chamber must and will be heard however long the session has to run. Jeremy Corbyn. Mr Speaker, I was simply making the point, which seems to have upset a lot of members opposite, that when you cut local authority budgets by 40 per cent, we all pay a price in public safety. Fewer inspectors, fewer building control inspectors, fewer planning inspectors, we all pay a price. And, Mr Speaker, those cuts to the fire service have meant there are 11,000 fewer firefighters. The public sector pay cap is hitting recruitment and retention right across the public sector. What the tragedy of Grenfell Tower has exposed is the disastrous effects of austerity. The, the, Mr Speaker, this disregard for working class communities, the terrible consequences of deregulation and cutting corners, I urge the Prime Minister to come up with the resources needed to test and remove cladding, retrofit sprinklers, properly fund the fire service and the police so that all our communities can truly feel safe in their own homes. Mr Speaker, this disaster must be a wake-up call. Yeah.